Hey guys, today we'll be talking about the information uh, which is available on the paper charts. So paper charts contain plenty of information for the navigator and we'll be looking at an example of a paper chart and highlighting the information that you can gather by just barely looking at the paper chart. All right. So let's start with the chart title. So as you can see, the chart title is the title of the chart which is printed uh, boldly uh, such that it does not obscure any essential information for safe navigation. Uh, if you are purchasing a particular chart, it is important that you specify the chart number and the title of the chart. Uh, and uh, you can see that here. Uh, the scale of the chart is also very important. So the scale and the projection of the chart uh, comes uh, just after the chart title. The scale indicated uh, here is the scale of 1 is to 150,000 at latitude of 27 degrees 15 minutes. Uh, this is of uh, a Mercator projection and the Mercator projection enables the spherical surface of the earth to be represented in the form of a cylinder and thus uh, reduced into a flat chart. So large scale charts uh, provide coverage of a small area and include great detail of the charted co coastal features and they should be selected when navigating close inshore and within the port. Uh, small scale charts on the other hand cover a larger area and only very significant charted features are included. They are intended more for navigation in the open sea and providing a general overview for planning purposes. Then this the depths and the height information is provided to you. So you can see that uh, it pretty much tells you the information here. The so depths are in meters and are reduced to a chart datum, which is approximately the level of the uh, Indian Spring low water. And uh, the heights are also in meters. And the underlined figures are drying heights in meters and decimeters above chart datum. All other heights are above mean high water springs. Then we have information about the navigational marks. So in this uh, chart is covering the ILA or International Association of Lighthouse Associations Maritime Voyage System region of A where uh, red is denoted uh, to the port. So we have two voyage regions A and B. So in one red is to port and the other one red is to starboard. This chart covers red to port. So they are under the uh, system A. Then we have uh, the geodetic datum and chart type positions available. So this is of course a Mercator chart and the sources are uh, uh, ran a Royal Australian Navy service uh, to 1970. Soundings in upright figures are from Colonial and Admiralty surveys to 1887. Uh, so we've covered the survey information as well. And finally, we have some warning notes here which provides you with the navigational warning such as here there's a historic wreck information provided and uh, you before you use this chart you should take note of this especially when you're drawing courses on this chart and uh, uh, you should make sure that the courses are very clear of the wrecks or any kind of changes to navigation so these are the different uh, chart scales provided here you can see these are examples of chart scales provided so uh, what kind of scales are used in which kind of navigation so you can see coastal approach charts and coastal navigation so the scale becomes larger as you are uh, in coastal waters and it becomes smaller uh, rather when we are in uh, uh, open ocean seas because smaller scale charts cover larger ocean areas although they do not focus more on the uh, intricate uh, uh, navigational features also. All right, then, uh, we have the chart number. So the chart number is uh, printed on normally on the top left hand corner as well as the bottom right hand corner. Uh, in this case, of course, the number on Australian charts are prefixed with AUS. So here the AUS stands for Australian charts. Uh, just like New Zealand charts are prefixed with NZ and British Admiralty charts are prefixed with a BA uh, to differentiate from other charts. Uh, charts belonging to an international series are prefixed with a INT. Uh, then you have the latitude scale on the side. So the latitude scales on Mercator charts also keeps changing because they use the principle of meridional path. So as the latitudes uh, uh, increase from equator to the pole, the difference between the latitudes increases and those differences in. Uh, so that is the principle here. So you must use the appropriate latitude scale for any kind of distance plotting because these latitude scales uh, change 
with the change in the latitude and this is something that you have to be very mindful of uh, that uh, all latitude scales are not the same all right so we'll keep going now then you have the longitude scales of course now in mercator charts longitudes are considered to be parallel and vertical and equally spaced and the longitude scale is given below as well but it's the latitude scale that we use for any kind of distance measuring and distance plotting as well then we have a reference to a larger scale chart so you can see that uh, uh, this particular number refers to another chart which is a larger scale chart if you are intend to transit within these uh, landmarks so you should not be using a, a, a smaller scale chart so because uh, this particular chart will be a small scale chart if you are planning to transit within the island so if you are with, transiting within these landmarks you should be using the appropriate chart which will provide you with a larger scale chart reference for safe navigation uh, this is part of the compass rows. I'll talk about the compass rows in the next slide. And then of course we have information about the tidal stream data. So here the rate of the tidal streams as well as the direction of the tidal streams are marked. Uh, you can see there is an arrow uh, marked and the, the speed of the tidal streams are marked there as well. Then you have the light characteristics here. Uh, this is like a small kind of an island and it has a light on it. So in the characteristics there you can see the flashing three every 12 seconds and uh, the height of the light as well as the distance or the range of the light is given. Uh, this information can also be found specifically from the uh, publication of Airbnb list of lights and radio signals where you can go into this uh, in the publication and find out more details about this light. Alright then you have you can see here there uh, you can see the sounding depths uh, which are there. The light characteristics are shown again in a closer uh, in a closer uh, format. So you can see a close-up view of the light characteristics. You can see the depth contours more clearly. You can see the dangers to navigation. Uh, you can see the nature of the sea floor is drawn there as well. So these are chart symbols. You have to go into the uh, 5011, which is the book of where the chart symbols are defined. So you can go there and you can see that uh, elevations above mean high water springs are given as well. So you can see that as well. So these different features uh, which are normally uh, available in a paper chart are highlighted here as well in a more close-up drawing. Uh, publication date of the chart is located at the bottom center of the chart as you can see here. So bottom center of the chart provides you with the publication date and the publication date has uh, a lot of these information available as well. Uh, so you can see here this was published in Australia by the hydrographic service of the Royal Australian Navy, Navy uh, on 24th of December 1975 and so and so so the whole the detailed information is provided to you and uh, uh, you can get all the information that is required here all right uh, then you have the record of chart corrections the record of chart corrections where the permanent corrections are located at the bottom left hand corner of the chart small corrections are in ink and t and p notices that is temporary and permanent notices are in pencil uh, so you can get the information about the latest chart correction from uh, this information here. If you are the officer in charge of correcting paper charts, then as you correct paper charts, you should be putting uh, the latest chart correction number and the year below as well. The charts should be kept updated for use and uh, it is not only for your use, but after you sign off from the vessel and a new officer joins the vessel, uh, they should be able to find out until what correction the chart has been corrected to. They should be uh, there should be latest corrections so that the chart is safe uh, for navigational use. All right, then you have the reliability diagram. The reliability diagram, uh, as you can see here, uh, provides you with all the information. Uh, these are diagrams placed on the sorry. I'll just go back a little bit again. These are uh, diagrams placed on the chart top, which allow you to assess the limitations of the hydrographic data from which the chart was compiled. So you can see the, there's a typical reliability diagram and uh, just note the references to the accuracy of the soundings and distance apart from uh, the main lines of soundings. So this basically gives you an indication of how reliable these charts are. Finally, you have the compass rows that I was showing you earlier. The compass rows is there for direction keeping. Uh, you can plot directions of this compass rows, but uh, because you've got the reference to the true north there, so the 000, 000 reference refers to the true north not the magnetic north because we use normally the true north for uh, navigation and for courses plotting and these compass rows is graduated from zero to all the way to 360 degrees 
Uh, it also shows the angle between the true north and the magnetic north, which is also called the variation. Uh, the variation for the year of 1994 is provided to you here. But then you provide uh, you add uh, or not add but uh, the additional correction of two minutes east that is the annual correction so what you do is like this is nine, 2019 again this is an old chart i'm showing you so 2019 so you will add the number of years from 1994 and then every year uh, it's two minutes east and east corrections are subtracted from the total variation so that's how you calculate it and then of course uh, rate of variation is shown as well all right, so I hope I covered the essential basics of a paper chart. I'll try to put up more videos about paper charts and chart plotting as I have been requested by some of the subscribers. I'm going about it in stages, so you should learn about this in stages as well. If there's anything I didn't cover or if you didn't like this video or like this video, uh, let me know through comments. And thank you everybody for subscribing and for sending me comments. Uh, I have got all positive comments and that's very kind of you. Uh, these days people are not very positive, but you have been very positive. You have encouraged me a lot. I really appreciate everything and I'll keep putting up videos for your learning. All the best.